Alrighty, here's another recording out for the nephews, nieces, and anyone else that cares to listen. Uh, this time I am playing some Super Hot. Uh, I think this is actually a fairly popular game. I think it might have gotten popular recently because they, they made a VR update for it. So you can actually play this in VR. And I guess it plays okay in VR. Um, I don't know. I don't have VR stuff, so uh, can't say can't say if it's good or not. Um, I, I I mean I can suspect it would play okay in VR, but but I'm just playing the non VR version right now, and it's uh, so far it's been a really interesting game. They they definitely kind of nailed this uh, this core concept, this core gameplay. And they did it really well. And they they did do that really well. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not doing so well at it at the moment. Uh, maybe just because I'm distracted talking. Uh, so it's uh, but yeah, it's it's really fun. This uh, you only time only moves while you move is is indeed a engaging thing to play with. And, you know, makes it really interesting. I uh, just paused there because, you know, I was getting into, uh, you know, kind of how you line up your shots. Uh, it, it appeals to me as a guy who's always, always enjoyed kind of turn-based games. Uh, I've always been a fan of, like, the Civilization series. And so... It's, uh, it, it, it's reminiscent to me of turn-based games because you do a lot of kind of setting things up and making your plans and deciding what you're going to do and then going really quick and executing it and then pausing again and uh, once again kind of deciding what your plans are and what you're going to do and and uh, you know basically just kind of doing it as if you were taking turns and doing it all turn-based style. So uh, so as a guy who likes turn-based games, I really enjoy that aspect of the game. Uh, once again, you know, I, I didn't necessarily mean for this, but this is another game that's very red on white for the aesthetic. And that's not necessarily a, a favorite of mine or... Anything I super love, uh, I, I don't know if it's as interesting here because uh, it's a lot more in buildings and uh, it, I, I mean, you can just look at it again. Uh, I, I mean, this game definitely has the, has, has like every trademark you could ask for, for, uh, for just uh, like if you were asking for an example of a game that was more of a tech demo or a proof of concept than completed game. I, I think you'd get super hot and 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 I don't necessarily know that it it has a lot of pretensions to being anything more. It's uh it 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 has got a story that I'll talk about in a second. Uh and but uh it, it's clearly more interested in showing off the concept and exploring the Exploring this uh, time only moves when you move gameplay. I should probably explain that a little more for you guys who may not have played this game. Uh, the uh, it, it's it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. the The whole idea is time only moves when you move. So that that's why you know you see you th you see things. If you've been watching close, uh, you'll see things kind of speed up and slow down. So right now I'm kind of standing still so I can make sure I'm close enough to this guy, grab his gun. While I'm grabbing the gun, you know, time speeds up a little there. And then while I'm moving around, time, you know, time speeds up again. And you see where your shot goes. And, and then so, you know, it kind of... I kind of move back and forth to see where my shots are lining up and what's going on. 
Oh, that is a bad time to run out of ammo. And he got me. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, you have guns, but this, this uh, you know, time only moves when you move. So it lets you do a lot of very cool things. Uh, kind of, very kind of matrix, uh, bullet dodging type of things. Uh, and, and I think one of the th cool things about it is it lets you do it in a very intentional way. Like, you definitely, uh, again, like I said, you know, uh, as sort of a turn-based thing, you do it with a very, uh, you, you, you make plans, you, you decide what you're, what you're doing, uh, how, how you're going to do it, and all of that is very cool. Makes it a lot more satisfying to play. Uh, they, there, of course, have been pl plenty of games where you where you have a uh, where where you where you have a a system that that slows down time, um, but usually it, it's it's not something where you can you can ramp up and slow down as as much as you can with this, and I think that that does add a lot to it. That does make it uh, significantly more interesting, and and the fact that you know it's it uh it it plays with you know your options you can you can move and but but when you're moving time you know all your all your enemies and any bullets coming towards you or anything is moving as well and you can you can stay still and that lets you plan and decide and figure out how you're going to handle things but while you're doing that but when you're doing that you uh uh, you know, every everything else is moving too, and so I, 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 I think I got lost a, a little there, but but I, I think I got the idea across. And anyway, yeah. So so again, gameplay is very interesting. Clearly, the the main point of this game is just to just to explore the the concept. You know, someone had a great gameplay concept of oh, what if you had this shooter, but time you know well when, when you weren't running around time you know time slowed down and wouldn't that be cool and and they were right it is cool um but you know it, it's an interesting aspect that games today sort of require they don't necessarily stand completely on one simple gameplay concept and Although maybe they do. I mean, it, whether whether it would be, you know, pretentious to say, oh, you know, it doesn't have, you know, some deep story or anything. Uh, it's 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 a weaker game uh, when it does have fantastic gameplay. It, it it does speak to that. It does start speaking to that question of like, you know, what do we mean when we talk about games and we talk about modern day games and. Do, do games have to be these uh, involved and interesting and deep storytelling engines with with important lore and uh, ideally you know exploring deep ideas and you know the whole human condition and any kind of artsy thing like that or, or can it just be fun and and, and there, there's analogs to talking about like movies and stuff as well. Uh, it does does a movie does a movie need to you know be be deep and meaningful and you know explore the human condition or is it is it enough for a movie to simply be uh, to, to be to look cool and have a lot of really interesting and engaging videos is that is or uh, visuals and is that is that enough to make it a good movie or are we demanding demanding uh excellent storytelling from our movies as well and that 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 debate is also applicable to games nowadays and and uh this is a great question that brings that up because the game you know the 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 game part of this it is a really interesting game uh, again you know great gameplay concept but there there is a story it 
first of all, the the story is very obtuse. I could I could barely tell you what the story is. Uh, now you know maybe it'll all come together because I've only kind of just started it, started playing this, and I've only played for a couple of hour, uh, like an hour or two so far, and that's and that's not much. And maybe it's all just coming together, but uh, but it it has something to. I mean the the. There was one review I heard that had a good joke where, like, the story of this game is you are playing a video game. Whoa! -ho -ho. <laughs> and uh, and that's true, you know. That, uh, I think when I started the video, you should have seen the, the whole, like, uh, kind of like the old-timey kind of a DOS-looking interface, uh, which to, you know, to... To the to the nephews and nieces I'm thinking of, you know, and in Richard, uh, Kyler and Kaylin, all of you guys, uh, you've probably never seen and maybe don't even know what a DOS interface is. Uh, DOS is a, DOS is a you know one of the first major computer operating systems, so like Windows or Android or anything like that. DOS was one of those. It it worked purely on just kind of text entry and, uh, you know, it was primitive. It was very much kind of like a first version of the compu of the computer operating system. Um, and it, and it forms the basis for a lot of the stuff our computers still do today. Like a lot of windows still kind of uh, the, the underlying structure for modern day windows is still kind of comes from a lot of the ideas in DOS. Uh, there, there, there's an interesting, there's an interesting idea I heard that there, the, so in particular, the file system in windows comes from the, the file system in DOS where it's, it's all directory based and subdirectory. And, and, you know, later those were designed as like, uh, you know, folders. And then you, you go to the folder that's in a folder and whatever. Uh, but you know, in, in DOS, that was all kind of set up as, the the idea of you you have a path and you can write out the the path of that kind of thing and the the folder made it uh maybe a little more the folder kind of idea maybe made it a little more easier to navigate but it was uh but but it's all the same idea uh but I, but you know in discussions of computer science i heard i once heard someone talking about that whole thing and they said they that some computer scientists did at one point come up with a much better file system that was query based. So instead of instead of everything just kind of having this this path and location uh, idea that you of where the of where the file is or you know how to how to get to the file, it was it was just kind of the the file had certain certain tags or certain properties. And any and you could perform you could essentially like whenever you were looking something up you would perform a search for the for the file in some ways in and then the the file system would retrieve it and and in a lot of ways that's kind of that's that's like a better system but it you, you know and uh, but and it probably would have been difficult if not impossible to do on computers back in the dos days but uh, uh but so they they used they used what they used in dos but then that's that's kind of been retained and kind of even become the standard and that's not necessarily a good thing because you know sometimes there are better ideas and we would like it if the better ideas could be the could be what the what everything used. Uh, I grabbed the gun before it hit the ground. Ground that always, oh, it just strikes me as such a cool move. So yeah, one of the one of the cool things you can do in this game. Oh, uh, what got me? Oh, there was a dude running up behind me. I guess. Yeah, th this is one of the reasons why I think this game does work in VR. I, I su or I suspect it does is that it does seem very kind of 360 degrees like you're you can't just kind of look uh, in one direction if at least if you want to survive you kind of got to be aware of what's 
going on all around you. And that's something that's a little easier or at least more natural to do in a VR context. Ah, there he is. Yeah, coming up behind me. Take that. Oh, where'd he go? I, I, I mean, I threw a gun at him, but there he is. All right. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, but but anyway, so yeah, it gives you that DOS interface, and then it gives some text of, and the text is basically just a friend saying, "Hey, check out this, check out this game. You can go play. It's uh, it, it's fun." Uh, yeah, so it does these these replays at the end of the level, which is kind of cool, but it does this whole, I'm going to go super hot at you over and over again. And sometimes that becomes more annoying and ruins the, ruins the effect of having a cool replay and seeing the things you did in, in normal speed. Um, but yeah, so let's see if the next one takes me to that. Are you with them? Let's see. And then it has this whole thing. So it's like, Oh, Oh, and, and, you know, technically you're hacking in to play the game. And so then it's like, oh, oh, are they going to find you? What's going on? And you're finding myster mysteries. But but all of that honestly, all of that honestly feels feels like it might be a little tacked on. Like I, it kind of seems natural. And, and it does have a moment of like, OK, now I got to go through go through this thing like okay yeah okay gotta chat with my friend i can't say anything like i'm just tapping random keys on the keyboard and all that came in oh 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 interesting something changed what i typed oh ho, ho, so mysterious what's going on what what forces are toying with me? And do I care about them? No, I'd kind of just like to go play the next mission. <laughs> but whatever. So yeah, that 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 whole aspect is just a little. Just it 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 doesn't seem natural. It doesn't seem uh, that that fulfilling. So so I guess the theme of these these videos so far is games in which the story is kind of disappointing and not terribly fulfilling ultimately all right i'll play like one more level here and then and then we'll uh we'll head out here oh oh mysterious walk keep moving what does it mean what does it mean what does it mean oh <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah, again, just keep moving, keep moving. Okay, keep moving, keep walking. All right, is this like the evil corporation trying to, trying to control me and getting mad because I'm, I'm daring to disobey or... What what are we going for here? What 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 what's the point? What's what's the idea you're going with? Okay, what if I what if I do sit in four, three, two, one? Oh, good dog. See, don't call me a dog. Don't call me a dog. Yeah. So so again, you know. You not in control. I don't. <laughs> Look, you're not Bioshock. Like, don't don't go. You're not Bioshock. You're not the Stanley Parable. You're you're not as. I don't think you're as deep and intelligent and interesting and profound as you think you are about what's the nature of gameplay and and games and choice and free will there, there are games that have explored that and have been very effective and interesting at the way they exploit explored that um you know what super hot i i got to admit i don't think you're one of them i'm i'm sorry you're you're a fun game but you're just you're you're not as deep as i'm afraid you might think you are like 
you you've got a you've got a fantastic uh, game mechanic. Just maybe just be happy with that. So, may I don't know. Maybe maybe a lesson for life there. You know, play to play to your strengths. Be happy with you know what what you have that's good. Don't be jealous of the other games that are or that you know are telling making some deep philosophical point about human nature and free will and life even though even though you might want to be one of them so yeah that's that's a good place and i think that's a good place to end so have a great time and i love y'all